All right, third grade, we have been looking at Georgia O'Keeffe and talking about her monumentalized flowers and how she would zoom in and focus on a smaller area or fill a large space with one giant flower. So you're gonna want your square white paper and then you had containers with paint. So you should have black, white, red, and green paints that were sent home to you. In class students, we'll talk about your paints in just a moment. So let's begin drawing. So the first thing we're gonna do is find a center area. And we're gonna start with an organic shape. And draw something like that. Then I'm gonna come out and start to formulate my petals. You'll see some of them are going right off the paper, and that is okay. All right. From here, I'm ready to start painting. So some of her flowers that we looked at um, were of poppies. So we are going to be creating a poppy. Now, just like when we work with oil pastels, with paint, we're going to use black at the end. So the center of a poppy is usually black, so I'm not going to paint this area right away. I want to give some lights, highlights, and some shadows in my flower. So I'm going to go ahead and start working with my paint. Now yours are in containers. You can certainly grab a paper plate or a paint tray if you have one, and you can pour some of those paints into there or use your brush and dip them to move them around and be able to mix them. I'm going to grab some red paint and I want to just kind of pull it to the side. Rinse my brush because I don't want to make my white paint red. Scoop up a little. I'm just going to kind of mix some of this in, get a little bit of a pinkish color. start to bring this pink in at the tips. I can work with my red. some darker red by adding a little bit of black into it. Now you notice that some of my lines are starting to disappear a little bit as I paint. That's okay. We're going to come back and we're going to add some additional details in. To separate out each flower petal. And so the flower petal grows from the center and it grows outward. So notice that my brush strokes are coming out from that center of that petal. I 
so I'm starting out again with the tips of my petals with my lighter color, my red with some white, and then I'm going in with two reds, and then I'm doing my darker. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my darker red, and then I'm going to go in with my All right, so right now we've really kind of started to lose all of those flower petals. So I am going to clean my brush. And in order to show things overlapping, we're gonna pick a side to kind of darken and a side to lighten. So I'm gonna work with my darker. I'm barely taking any black paint Pulling it in and mixing it with my red. And then by creating that darker paint, I'm going to come in and I can start to outline. The individual petals. And I don't want to go super dark. I don't want to have a black outline. So I want to try and work with a darker version of red. And then we're even going to add some white. Okay. So now they're starting to separate out a little bit. I think I kind of like that. When we looked at poppies by Georgia O'Keeffe, it almost looked like a turtle, some of you said. And so Saria, I think I just blend this a little bit more um, because of the way that all of those sections came out. So I almost feel like I do want to leave the darker areas. I can come back in here into my center and I can work on creating that black center. And then if I want to get some of the little seeds in there, I can just do some little dots into those petals, adding some different variations and details. All right, so again, that was working with true red in the middle, light red, or a tint of red by adding white into it, on the ends and a darker red or a shade by adding some black into it in the center. Now the remaining background you have green and you can kind of do the same thing where you're adding some white to your green, some black to your green and working with different colors and it just starts to give us the illusion of different leaves behind. I'm going to do some lighter green, I'm going to do some true greens, and I'm going to do a darker green. I do want to wash my brush before adding black and green together because gray and green would make a different tone. All right. And again, nothing um, very precise about this very organic in nature, just putting some areas with darker, I'm going to put some areas with true green, I'm going to put some areas with the light green as I fill in the background around my flower. And as those colors start to overlap and blend, just gives it a little more interest, a little more movement. I know sometimes we like to just paint with green and call it done, but the more interest we can add by varying our colors makes our eye look into our paper a little more. And you can see some of my lines. So if I go over, I can really kind of clean some areas up I may have painted out of the lines 
or I might just leave them. Because again, flowers are very organic, free flowing. All right. With this, I think I'm gonna call it a day. And here is a poppy inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. 